Hey, welcome back everyone. It is now November 12th of 2021, and ever since the very end of The Mandalorian Season 2 and The Bad Batch, a lot of Star Wars fans have truly been looking forward to the future of the Star Wars universe by Jon Favreau, Dave Filoni, Disney CEO Bob Chapek, and others out there that are really doing everything in their power to really turning Star Wars around for the better. This is Mike Zero. Make sure to subscribe if you are new to the channel for future Star Wars updates. Also, by the way, guys, I am on Twitter at MikeZero1 if you guys want to go ahead and give me a follow on there. I do post a couple of entertaining things from time to time and interact with you guys further. So we're not only getting very close to the release of the Boba Fett series, but the Ahsoka Tano show is now really getting worked on heavily by Lucasfilm. A lot of sets are being built. Rosario herself is beginning to train for the role of Ahsoka Tano, since she, by the way, is going to be doing a lot of her own stunts in the series, so that's going to look very authentic, to say the least. We also have other shows that are finally coming to a close when it comes to production, like the Star Wars Andor show. But the one that the people are looking forward to the most is the Kenobi TV series, which, by the way, they are planning to market that show in the coming weeks in order to kind of get things rolling. So, with that being said, of course, what's really intriguing has everything to do with Jon Favreau and exactly what's been happening behind the scenes with, of course, a specific Star Wars project that has yet to be announced that will be unveiled at Star Wars Celebration. Now, mind you, that Celebration of 2022, it is going to be labeled as the biggest celebration under Disney's wing since, of course, forever. You know, since uh, whenever they bought Lucasfilm back in 2013 or so. Now, this really is a big deal because it's going to have not only the unveiling of the roadmap of the franchise, but also new books, novels, comics, and video games that are going to tie all together. I'm sure a lot of you out there really like that Eclipse trailer. So, with that being said, now that, now that of course, both Disney and Lucasfilm are focused on their new Star Wars universe with TV shows like Ahsoka and Kenobi, both Jon Favreau and Dave Filoni are actively working on a handful of new shows that will be unveiled at Star Wars Celebration next year. It's described that currently creator Jon Favreau has been making key changes to the Star Wars brand behind the scenes and recently made a big shift with one of the projects. It's described that recently Jon Favreau was granted permission from Disney CEO Bob Chapek to fire one of the co-writers for an upcoming Star Wars project that is going to focus on a post-Episode 9 era in live-action form that is going to be announced at Star Wars Celebration. Now, this co-writer is said to have been pushing for many of Kathleen Kennedy's beliefs and concepts to be used for Favreau's new show that is going to create this new era that is set to take place nearly a decade after Episode 9. This co-writer is said to have been the one that was also causing creative differences between himself, Favreau, and Filoni working on the project, and was also having trouble during pre-production for the show as it was focusing away from Kathleen Kennedy's vision. Now, this in turn caused both Favreau and this writer to hold problems behind the scenes while working on plans of how this new Star Wars show was going to work out. The co-writer for Star Wars that was recently fired by Lucasfilms, of course, hop on board, of course, the other co-writers and or directors for this new series. They are now actively looking for new casting, of course, to happen for this new show that's set to actually enter pre-production sometime in early 2022. Now, beyond all of this, this caused further conflict between Favreau and the writer, as Favreau knows that, of course, this writer wanted Ryan Johnson and or Leslie Headland to join as other co-writers. And Favreau knows and believes that Favreau, of course, believes that Ryan Johnson has caused nothing but trouble when it came to The Last Jedi back in 2017. On top of this, this went on for weeks of negotiations in whether or not they would keep this writer that was closely associated with Kathleen Kennedy and since it was blocking Favreau's creative side for Star Wars. Favreau of Lucasfilm was given permission to let him go from this new project. Currently, Favreau and Filoni are looking for new co-writers to work on this new Star Wars TV series alongside themselves, and that the series is still planned to begin shooting sometime at the end of 2022 and will be announced at Celebration next year. The series is set to focus on a couple of new Force-sensitive characters and their connections to a new Jedi Order that has been constructed. This most likely relates to what is being done in the sequel series that will showcase Rey's Jedi Order with the aid of the Force Ghost from the past. Kathleen Kennedy is best described to be angry over the fact that this co-writer 
of course, is very close to her and was fired from the new series and how Favreau and Filoni are moving forward with finding a brand new one for the show. Bob Chapek is also getting excited to announce that this is, of course, going to be the big reveal at Celebration to the entire fandom by unveiling the official title and plot of the series. Now, here's the thing about this new show, in case you guys did not know. It is going to be a post-Episode 9 era Star Wars show, but it's going to have literally nothing to do with Poe, Finn, or Rey. That's being saved for the animated series. That's also going to be a post-Episode 9 show. But this is a live-action one and is focusing only and strictly on brand new characters, throwing us into yet another new era of the franchise. Now. Let me just say this, I think that that is perfect. I think that's something that fans have been waiting for, even though a lot of fans, I believe, are not all that crazy about the new Jedi Order being built by Rey, because that is the direction that they're going in. But they're gonna do it in a more indirect manner. They're not gonna have Rey in this show, and if they're not gonna have Rey in the show, it's very highly unlikely that they're really gonna make all these different references constantly about Rey. We'll have to wait and see. Now, the other thing about all of this is the fact that Favreau and this co-writer were going through a lot of creative differences. We've heard this many times that Favreau had a lot of co-writers for some of the new Star Wars shows that were greenlit a very long time ago, mind you. But when Kathleen Kennedy was in power, she chose many of those writers to become a part of those shows. And so they've only been creating problems and setbacks and a lot of issues in between when it came to either pre-production or principal photography for other shows and a lot of things happening behind the scenes by other Lucasfilm employees like, you know, visual artists, concept artists, editors, whatever have you. Moving on from that though, the fact that they are prepping a episode 9, post episode 9 I should say, TV show, I think it's brilliant. We all saw how brilliant the Eclipse trailer was, even though that's just a video game, it is a cinematic and don't expect that video game to drop until 2024. It's a ways out. But Star Wars Eclipse, go ahead and check it out. That basically is, I would say, a more engaging aspect of the High Republic. Now myself, I can never get into the books of the High Republic nor the comics. I just never found them engaging or interesting. But by the looks of Eclipse, that really does give you a different side of that era. You can see that they're saving the best for that era for either TV shows, movies, or video games. As far as the books and the comics go, it just seems very off and very odd and just not Star Wars. That Eclipse trailer really gave fans a little bit of a different view of that timeline, but I digress. The thing about this post episode nine series that will be unveiled at Celebration, I'm actually glad that this co-writer was dropped because you can obviously tell given that he was trying to get Ryan Johnson and Leslie Headland on board as other co-writers for different episodes, that would have been a disaster. In fact, Leslie Headland for the Acolyte series has been trying to get Ryan Johnson on for a director or a co-director or whatever, co-writer, whatever they want to do for that show. They want to have Ryan Johnson on board in some way, shape, or form for a handful of episodes. I'm not quite sure, you know, how the fans are going to take that. Obviously, a lot of fans are going to be very off-put by that. But anyways, you know, let me know what you think about all of this below in the comments. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time.